Ready for some tea? They're very accepting on the West Coast, but they're not very accepting of new friends. With the entertainer. I always joke with my husband that he's my first husband. And I said that my name should be I Need a Man. And- Oh, I love that. <laughs> He was not having it. No topic left behind. I think once it becomes a problem and you no longer look like yourself or at your surgery, you're planning your next surgery, mm. then I think it's a problem. But I mean, everybody in Fairfield County's had a little sign. <laughs> Hey divas, guess what? With today's overload of hot and trending TV smash hits like Drag Race, a competition that has captivated us with hundreds of contestants who displayed what? Glamour, beauty, and above all, the art of transformation, darling. This has inspired many drag queens around the nation and the world. And guess what? Today I am joined by a fierce queen, Mrs. Anita Manager. Come and learn about how she entertains as she continues to make her mark in Fairfield County and beyond. Welcome to Sebastian Hall Show. Hey, hey, hey. Well, here is Mrs. Anita Manager. Yes. Have a few cheers first, girl. I've been dying for this interview. Cheers, cheers. I'm Welcome excited. to Sebastian Hall Show. How are you today? I'm great. Beautiful weather, not too bad for wearing all these layers. Nice. First things first, let's talk fashion. I'm doing a little dark emo high school moment. Like a little risque with the see-through. <laughs> a, a little, it. yeah, a little nipple, a little <laughs> shot. <laughs> Tell me about this. Is this is this Greenwich mom? Yeah, I'm like for your husband. Exactly. This? This is... Sitting at home, having a cocktail. Good. Just, you know, got the hair ready. Nice. Just gotta whip out the rollers when I hear him pull up the driveway. Mm. Is it, is it food on the table for the husband? I ordered it yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Honey, I don't cook. <laughs> we don't know what I'm cooking. No, no, no cooking. Okay, so, um, drag race, all of this. I love drag queens. I would like to begin with that. I've been a big fan uh, with, because my husband, he got me into it. I, I heard about it before, but I never really so experience it, but let's go right at the beginning. Um, right. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Stanford and I, was really lucky I grew up with my parents, two of my sisters, and then all of my extended family lived in like the very general area. So I got to grow up with like 20 siblings and a dozen parents. <gasps> oh so, my God. So yeah. you, you've been here all your life in Connecticut? Uh, yeah, outside of two years that my husband and I lived in Seattle, I've been here my whole life. Ooh, how was that? Tell me about it. Seattle's beautiful. And it rains a lot. It doesn't, no. No, it's not totally true? A myth. Oh my God. So in Seattle, it really only rains during our winter months. Mm -hmm. If you look at like the charts and everything, it rains double the amount in Seattle that it does here. Oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. So was it because of you wanted a complete move to be there with him? No, or my husband job? worked for Starbucks. Oh. So it took us out there, he got a promotion. Oh, okay. but How was the experience? Seattle itself is beautiful, but when you have an East Coast mentality, you don't really fit in in the West Coast. And I'm pretty stubborn, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna be myself, and if you don't like it, they push you right out. Really? Yeah, no, people aren't very, they're very accepting on the West Coast, but they're not very accepting of new friends. Oh, I know, because uh, I've been dying, I, I, my mind, like eventually I wanna move to LA, Hollywood, that's like the dream, but then I had a friend that actually moved there and he, came, he ended up coming back. I know a lot of people that have moved west and came back. They miss you. But we the good thing is that we are here when you agree that we jump in the train 40 minutes, we're in New York City. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't that a gift? <laughs> Perfect. Um, so who has had the most positive influence in your life? I'd have to say my husband. I, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now. Um, I was always interested in drag and drag queens, but I was always afraid of like the stigma of what people think of you behind your back or what they might say. So I always just kept it at an arm's distance. And uh, about a year ago, I was talking about doing it again. And he said, just do it. And then I just fell in and started doing it almost full time. Let's dive into that part. So who is Anita Manager? So Anita Manager is not like the stereotypical drag queen. I am more of like the mother of Fairfield County gays. Mm, mama. So my husband, <laughs> everybody jokes that he's the mayor. So whenever anybody's alone, we go over, we make friends. And it's just really important for me for people to feel connected and to have a place to feel safe, whether it's to talk or to not talk. 
and most of the time when we meet somebody they end up at our house and it's just like a safe zone for everybody. Well, oh, your drag persona is inspired by who? Do you have a... Mostly my mother. Absolutely mom, my really? mother. Really? I feel like that's I thought like you were going to say Madonna. No, no. Cher. No, oh, Cher though. Oh, oh God. Angel. Wait, do you, have you seen that new that they were doing with the, the, the face aging app? And then yes. they did Cher and then before and after like the, <laughs> the, 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 the age. That was so funny. I, was I mean, you get enough plastic surgery, you never really age. No. You know, if half of your body is less than 18 years do you, old. Do you like plastic surgery? Do you agree? I'm all for it, as long as you don't go overboard. I think that... If it's going to make you happier, then do it. I think once it becomes a problem and you no longer look like yourself or at your surgery, you're planning your next surgery, mm. then I think it's a problem. But I mean, everybody in Fairfield County's had a little sign. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been touched by an angel, as they say? I have here and there. I get a little bit of Botox, a little bit of filler. Uh, really? I'm, I'm, I would love to do it. How is oh. the pinch? I get, I, I'm, you know why I'm afraid of needles? Every time I get a blood, blood work, oh, you see me, I'm like. <laughs> I pass out with blood work. And ironically, oh. I have a bunch of tattoos, but uh -huh. with the Botox, in my mind, it's like, I have to do it. So I just sit there and I'm sweating and the guy's like wiping my sweat and oh putting the God. needles in. <laughs> so embarrassing. But is um, it worth it? Totally worth it? Absolutely. And you only have to do it a couple times a year, so it's not that bad. Good. Twice a year? Like three. Three? Men's muscles are stronger, so we have to do it more frequently because it, um, mm. it comes out of the system I faster. I love men with strong muscles. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. So how do you come up with a name? Um, I you was sitting home like, no. No, scratch. it was a group of my friends and we were sitting there and uh -huh. I always joke with my husband that he's my first husband. And I said that my name should be, I need a man. And Oh, I love that. <laughs> He was not having it. No. And he told me that I was like the bitchy white lady. He was like, so <laughs> Anita Manager will do just fine. Yeah, I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. I like it. So which three words will describe you? Um, I would go with campy, glamorous. Yes, always honey. And, uh, and philanthropic. Really? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I'm all about giving back. I think it's really important, especially when you come from an area where you have the ability to do pretty much whatever you want. It's so important to give back to the people who don't have the same abilities that you do. Um, I also know that uh, I want you to tell me about that experience. You went to Norwalk Library to read to kids and parents about diversity and inclusivity. How was that experience? Amazing from start to finish. It was so much fun to see the kids come in and their faces light up. And um, it was my second time doing stuff with kids. The first mm -hmm. was Pride in the Park. And I just felt like a princess all day. All the kids came up and took my picture and it was so much fun. But at the library, I... Who, sorry, who was idea that you got contact by the library itself? So the library like contacted Nicholas and Casey at Troop 429. Uh -huh. And they asked myself and Robin if we would do it. And it blew up very quickly. And ironically, I think the negativity, which was a lot less than I thought it was going to be, amplified it. So people came out in droves in support. And it was just so great. Even people that weren't from the area, people that couldn't attend, all like showed their support and stood up for me and Robin the whole time. It was, it was really great to feel so accepted by the whole community. I'm curious, so how many wigs do you have? You have a storage full of like, how, how is that? So out of What's the, the norm? The queens in Fairfield County, mm -hmm. there's only a few of us, but one of the other queens in Fairfield County, Sienna Rose, and I live together. So mm -hmm. we have the ability to share everything. So between the two of us, we have over 30 wigs. <gasps> and being a hairstylist, I style them, so it's just like an endless supply of hair. I love it. I have to do a whole segment on how to do wigs. I've been watching YouTube videos oh. of how to like, you have to twist and curl and then... Um, it's a lot more work than doing human hair, but I mean, we have bookshelves of wigs and it's oh still God. never enough. It is an investment. That's what I want to tell people. There's like, to be a drag queen is not just, just throwing a dress and you go out. It's an investment. Makeup. Which makeup, which makeup brand do you use? You have to use uh, I uh, primarily Krylon, use Krylon? Krylon on my face. Mm -hmm. um, ironically, like the cheapest brand in the world, NYX. I love their lip stuff. Mm -hmm. And then on my eyes, it's a lot of like Morphe, Jeffree Star. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole bunch of different brands, but 
I definitely feel like Krylon is the best on your face because it lasts the longest and you can sweat through it and it's not going nowhere. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I need to buy that. <laughs> she's saying, she's staying in place. As I'm dripping. As I'm <laughs> What's your process to get ready? Like I say, my process, I like to have my favorite music about my Madonna. It depends on the mood. I lay my makeup down. I also do my makeup, you can see. <laughs> lay my makeup down, my lights, and I relax, and I start just, I put my favorite music. What's your process? I, const I just have whatever I'm performing that evening, whether it's a mix or a couple songs, I have those just playing on repeat, just so that way it's in my head. Mm. Um, on my 10-foot table, I lay out my face in segments. In se <laughs> I love it, oh my god. Step, segment one, so what's segment one? Uh, eyebrows. I recently shaved my eyebrows off. <gasps> full drag queens. Yes. When you become a full time. Oh my god, how uh, was that? You just like... I came downstairs shaking from my bedroom. It was... <gasps> And I thought about it for like three months and I'm like, you know what? I got so many bookings. I was coming to the show. I just wanted to make it a little bit easier and it knocks off like a half hour. Really? It's it's a little bit harder to wake up and look in the mirror. Oh my God, I know. But like, <laughs> yeah, so I don't leave my bedroom without putting at least that eyebrows girl. on. So, but it's just, it feels a lot smoother for me, so. Like it was literally, do you sh with a shaver or do you like oh, wax yeah. or like? So I get my, I wax my eyebrows. Wow. Oh. So I had the shape of my eyebrows that was already there. Mm -hmm. So when I shaved them, when you shave, there's still the hair follicles. So you can still see it. So now I can put my eyebrows exactly where my real ones are. Uh -huh. So I want to just shave them instead of wax them. So that way I can follow the outline of my natural eyebrow. Girl, that's commitment right it, there. Oh, ooh, oh my God. I was, are you like super red every time you have to do it? No. Wait, do you have thick, thick, naturally thick no, eyebrows? No, my eyebrows are relatively thin and they're blonde, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it's easy. not that bad, but. Easy, easy, peasy. But now it's like talking of which, let's talk drag race. Oh my God. So tell me, do you, lo are you in love with drag race? What? So before I met my husband, I never watched a Drag Race once. Same here, cheers. <laughs> but mm -hmm. now she's obsessed. I've seen every episode, even the elusive season one. Oh, with the halo. We need that. Uh, we need the filter here. We need the halo. Do we have that filter going on right now? Let's put that filter right now. There we go. Oh my god, bitch was in heaven. It was. It was awful. It looked like they had Vaseline over the <laughs> lens. I love it, yes. But um, my favorite season is absolutely season seven. Seven? Seven, yeah. Wow. Oh so my God. there's Trixie, Katya. I mean, Katya's the most hilarious dumpster fire there is. I love her so much. Trixie is just an icon. You like Trixie? I love Trixie. I don't, I'm sorry. I, I see, I, I went to Dragon and. I seen the music. I, I, she's talented. I mean, she's talented. I didn't she, say I liked her music. I said I liked her. Yeah, no, but I don't. I I, I know somebody. I I'm not not my favorite. Not really. Like I, I I'm okay. Yeah, Trixie. Yeah, cool. But not. I don't know why I love Detox. It's my Detox is I amazing. Don't know why I love that? She makes me laugh. I don't know why. I don't think that there's a better lip sync out there. She the way she moves her mouth and everything. Yes. yes. Um, Bianca. Bianca, Bianca, she's my favorite Snatch Game. Snatch Judge game. Judy, Judge that was amazing. Judy. Baloney. Yes. <laughs> yes. She just, I mean, she could literally do anything and be funny, but her Judge she's Judy. She's hooked. Like, she's, uh, she's doing, uh, what is it? Um, Steph, what is she doing? Uh, Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium. She's doing it. Damn. Get she, it. She's, yeah. It's like 30,000 seats. That's crazy. She's, Good I, for I think her. she's the number one from the whole, I mean, oh, the whole absolutely. drag race. I would say that she's absolutely the most successful. Awesome. You, yeah. you know that I like her season? I love her season. Her season was good, but still, I mean, and even Kasha Davis was on season seven. Yeah. And I look up to her a little bit. I, yeah. Like that mom vibe, yeah. you know? <laughs> and Pearl as a boy. <gasps> Cute. He's, I mean, if you watch Drag something. Race, you know that pictures were leaked. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Pearl, oh, he's so cute. He's so, cause he, you know what he is it with him is that he has the sexy lips and the sexy eyes. And when he gets really manly, it's like he has that little like, oh hey, a little <laughs> rough around the edges. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. We have to meet him one day. Have you ever met one one of them, the big, the big ones? Um, so I've met 
um, Bianca. Uh, I met her quite a few times. I've met Shangela. I've met. Oh, Shangela. She is hysterical. And I actually met Shangela before I had watched Drag Race. Oh, really? Yeah. And people were like flocking over to her, and we were just having a casual conversation. Uh, I love. And I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Oh my god, really? <laughs> she thought it was hysterical. It was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. I met quite a few of the queens and they're all fantastic. Do you agree or disagree with the selection of drag queens in New York Magazine? I have no opinion. <sighs> so, that list was, it felt like it was commissioned by RuPaul. Uh, I didn't feel like there was a lot of fact behind the ranking. There was a lot of misinformation. All of the queens that were on the list were of course amazing, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like there was any fact-based fact information in it. It was just a list of RuPaul queens and that was pretty much it. If you're going to be given a platform, I think you should absolutely use it to its fullest extent. Yeah. Um, but then there are queens out there, Lady Bunny in Peru, that just legendary they're legendary there's no comparison it doesn't matter how far you've come or where you began you're not going to be a bunny you know but even season what was it season one with nina flowers season two um, season one season one i mean nina flowers she's an icon you know i but i feel like it's there's so many more options out there besides drag race to build your platform i have no intention of being on drag race you wouldn't go, you would, no, why? I mean, I wouldn't say no if I was invited, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't put all the effort into applying to be on Drag Race. There are so many more things that you can do locally for your community, for the extended community, that I don't think it's really necessary for everybody's goal to be on Drag Race. Love now, moving on from Drag Race. Um, do you watch Queer Eye? Everybody watches Queer Eye. <sighs> Uh, I cry during just a regular <laughs> commercial. Oh, me too, Forget me too. it. I'm hysterical that whole show. I love it. It's so good. And that's besides um, Drag Race, Queer Eye is also showing these five gay guys walking into people's lives, straight All people over. that had never thought they were going to have an interaction with a gay person. That is so exciting and to me. It's that so amazing. We, as the LGBTQIA plus community, are becoming so mainstream and we're just getting out there and it's just becoming normal for the general public and not just our normal. We're mm -hmm. just normal people living our lives. Yes. You know, and it's just so exciting to turn on the TV and a kid can relate to somebody that they wouldn't have been able to 10 years ago. Thank you so much. Thank Miss you for having Anita me. Anita Managers, it's been amazing to meet you, to get to talk to you. Cheers, thank you for coming to my show. Cheers, thank you. And uh, mm, divas out there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. You have to follow Miss Anita Manager on her Instagram and see all the amazing stuff and performances she will be doing at True 429 and many, many more places. Maybe coming to the city soon, yes? Let's hope. Definitely. And Thank you for watching. Bye.